When I first started researching Tuva's life for this project, my imagination was running wild. Through her letters and novels, you are instantly transported to her island. You can smell the seaweed and the salt spray, touch the petals of the wild roses growing on the rocks, and hear the screech of gulls above you. The more I read, the more I realised Tuva's real life experiences often seemed as magical as the adventures she imagines for her Moomin family. Spending long summers on the island out at sea, taking a trip around the world, painting in her high ceiling studio in Helsinki. But her life was not without struggle, often manifesting from impending dangers and prejudice in the world outside her own. Much like the Moomins, her valley was safe and secluded. As some of you may know, if you followed my work for a while, Women Who Own It is a self-initiated project I started two years ago, exploring how personal possessions tell the story of the pioneering women who owned them. So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you some objects I've painted to represent Tova Janssen's life. Most people know Tuve Janssen as the creator of the Moomins. But did you also know she designed costumes and sets for ballet? Later on, even the Moomins became a ballet performance, with shows still happening today. After working tirelessly for many years, Tuva travelled the world with her partner Tuliki and this small video camera visiting places such as Japan, Hawaii and New Orleans. Painting the almost iconic flower crown felt very important to me as I think it's an object that says a lot about Tuva Janssen, about her warm and playful personality, her whimsical illustrations, and her sense of adventure and feeling young at heart, always. 